look at a survival axe from Off Grid Tools. And if you'll remember last year, I reviewed the Trucker's Friend, which is actually made by the same company, and its popularity with the survivalist community encouraged Off Grid Tools to create a multi purpose tool specifically for emergencies. And that's how we came up with the Survival Axe Elite. Or maybe we'll just go ahead and call it the Little Trucker's Friend. Now, it boasts 30 features, which I'm going to be honest, I think is a little generous of a number, but just like its predecessor, the trucker's friend, you can do a lot with this little thing. So let's start with the hatchet head. That's going to pretty much allow you to hack away at anything that you're going to need to. Uh, it is also resharpenable. Now at the top, there is a pry bar and it can also act as a nail puller. So if you need to get some nails out of the way or you've got some boards that are stuck together, you'll be able to sort of pry away with that end. And it also has a claw hammer, which should be able to provide you with all the pounding power that you might need. MSR's home emergency water filter is perfect for anyone building home disaster kits in preparation for natural disasters and city boil orders. Using our through link microfilter and the included adapters, it threads easily onto standard home spigots, providing drinking water fast. The system is easy to use. Simply thread the adapter onto the hose bib. Attach the filter to the inlet hose. Then attach the clean water hose to the filter. Before your first use, you'll need to flush the filter of loose carbon dust, which is harmless but doesn't taste very good. To do so, run water through the system until the water appears clear. Using hollow fiber technology and activated carbon, the filter removes bacteria like E. coli and salmonella and protozoa like cryptosporidium. It also removes dirt and microplastics and reduces tastes, odors, and chemicals. If you suspect viruses or human waste have contaminated your water source, add one to two drops of household bleach per liter of water or four to five drops per gallon and wait 20 minutes before drinking. Here today to talk about the Sustain Supply two-person 72-hour kit. And we thought we'd break down all the contents that come packed within the kit. Starting with food, we have 12 servings of Mountain House dehydrated food. The idea here is to provide your family with a warm meal rather than just handing them a granola bar and hoping for the best. You prepare these, it's a real meal. It's hot, it's tasty. We provide silicon bowls and uh, plastic utensils to eat the food rather than you know just dumping it out on a paper plate. Now the beauty of these bowls is they fold flat so they store very easily in the pack. We also have pouched water. These are individually packaged, cut open the plastic bag and away you go. Um, if you're familiar with juice pouches, you're familiar with these. The beauty of these is they're individually wrapped, they're gonna stay good for a long, long time. We also have in addition to providing you with water, we provide you with the means to purify and filter additional water. The Sawyer Mini is hands down the best filter on the planet for emergency readiness. This little filter here will take care of over 100,000 gallons of water. Every emergency supply kit should come with first aid items. We include a small first aid kit. This is good for your bumps, your bruises, your scrapes, that kind of thing. Another must have in every emergency kit is a knife. This kit comes with the Mora Companion. This is one of the best knives at this price point on the market today. It will do everything you need a knife to do. It is also one of the most highly recommended knives by survival instructors all over the world. A very commonly overlooked item when it comes to disaster readiness is hygiene. We've included packages, bath wipes, to help keep you and your family a little bit cleaner. When you are able to clean up a little bit, it makes you feel a little more human. It makes you feel a little bit better about the situation. For emergency signaling, the kit comes with two emergency whistles. Each of them has a lanyard. Put one around your neck, put one around a family member's neck. If you get separated, you're able to signal to one another and be able to get back together. The kit also comes with two emergency blankets. These are very high quality emergency blankets. They're not the cheap, very thin mylar that tear easily. These are very durable, long lasting, and as a bonus, they're orange for visibility. 
When you go to cook your food, you may not have access to a microwave or a stove top, things like that. So we've included a, a little stove. This stove burns sticks, twigs, pine cones, dried grass, things like that. The beauty of this is, like the, the silicon bowls, it folds flat. It disassembles, folds up into a very small package so it'll fit easily in the kit. We've also included two different pots that nest together for boiling the water or cooking other foods, say you have canned soup, things like that. Illumination is a very big, big element when it comes to disaster readiness. Nobody likes being in the dark. So we've included three different options for emergency lighting. We have an LED lantern with 30 LEDs. It also has fold up arms on the top so you can hang it in your home, in your vehicle. We have a very nice LED flashlight. We also have four snap lights. These snap lights are excellent tools for illumination because they don't rely on batteries. They're not candles, it's not an open flame. You simply crack, shake, and it's lit for 12 hours. We also have, if you're gonna have a stove, you need to have a way to burn things. So we included some fire starter. This InstaFire fire starter is hands down my favorite store-bought type of tinder. It comes in little granules. It'll light from a match, it'll light from a lighter, it'll light from a spark, and burns hot and burns for a long time. If you don't have lighter, you don't have matches, we included a ferrocerium rod. These are very, this is a very common tool survival instructors use. Basically, you have a scraper, you scrape down the edge of the rod, it generates sparks down into the tinder and gets everything burning. This is the Sustain Supply two-person 72-hour kit. This kit contains everything you need for two people for three full days to keep you comfortably prepared. This is the Schrade SCHF 38 Full Tang Fixed Blade Survival Knife. A knife designed for every breed of outdoor enthusiast. The SCHF 38's rugged full tang design and overall length of 11.15 inches makes for a capable, versatile cutting tool. The 5.77 inch black powder coated drop point blade of corrosion resistant 1095 high carbon steel is tough enough to handle the challenges of the wilderness. Quarter inch blade steel offers a tough tip capable of piercing a wide range of materials and the fine edge is slicing sharp straight out of the box. The nice 90 degree spine can be used as a striker against the ferro rod that comes packed in the sheath's pouch together with a sharpening stone. The rugged blade lets you baton with confidence. Top and underside jimping on the ring textured TPE handle in tandem with ergonomic contouring keep the SCHF 38 under control and in your hand in all weather conditions. Extend security by passing cordage through the lanyard hole. The tang extension at the base of the handle transforms the knife into a crushing tool. Lash the black nylon sheath to gear or leg. The Velcro Loops flexible design lets you easily attach the sheath without removing your belt. A single snap holds the SCHF 38 secure while providing quick access. A versatile, all-black knife ready for the rigors of the wild, crafted from premium materials, and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCHF 38 Survival Knife. Today I'm going to show you my new go bag, bug out bag, emergency bag, whatever you want to call it. It's the Maxpedition Tiburon backpack. All right, everybody, here we have the Maxpedition AGR Tiburon backpack. This is to be my 72 hour bag, my bug out bag, my uh, emergency go bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is going to be my bag that if I have to leave wherever I'm at and sustain uh, at least myself for up to three days, this is going to be the pack that I'm going to use. So on the outside, the first thing you see is this uh, kind of webbing stuff. It's not uh, your regular kind of Molly style or PALS webbing. This is their laser cut atlas uh, attachment lattice system is what they call it. Uh, it comes on all the uh, Maximation AGR stuff. Uh, looks flimsy, but it's not. It's actually pretty, 
pretty stout stuff so um, uh, it's meant just to be like all the other attachment systems you just put extra stuff on the outside that's all it is um, and that gives you a total of 2,075 cubic inches or 34 liters so this is a 34 liter pack um, it's gonna be plenty big enough for my purposes some people prefer to have a lot more gear I'm trying to parse some of my gear down so I can get uh, more lightweight more agile I don't want to have this massive massive bug out bag that I'm trying to lug around if I'm especially if I'm having a